Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. We had a user from live.perillo.com ask my dog Pixie a question. And Pixie, is it okay if I answer it? Can I answer it this time, baby? Can I? Can I answer it? All right, fine. She's a little disappointed, but I am going to answer it here. Whenever I install new software that generates output, it installs a folder to one of my subfolders on the server where I keep my main work. It's kind of irritating because my list of work folders share space with my ebooks, my wild voice, my videos, aim logger, etc. If I delete them, it either causes my software not to work or in some cases the software generates a new folder. Of course, that means the software along the line I knew how to do that, but I can't for the life of me figure out what I've done. <clears throat> well, this is a, a, I guess, a complicated question because we're dealing with a lot of different kind of software and developers and mindset, and none of them can agree on where to put their damn files. At least most of them now are setting them inside the My Documents folder, which is one single folder or should be one single folder for each user on your Windows machine. And there, I guess, are equivalents as well inside of OS X and specifically in, in Linux too. Um, at least for the more friendly flavors of Linux. Uh, that is the, the, the base of where I'm going to start the answer for this question. If you are not saving all your files from any program in one folder, you're making a big mistake. Um, by and large, you know, if you want to go and back up the files in your system, you would have to crawl in 13 different locations rather than in one location. The My Documents folder is set up specifically for you to put all the files that you create and edit and make inside. So that way you can transport it from one computer to another just by dragging and dropping one My Documents folder. That's the beauty of it. That's the genius of it. I really do recommend that. Now, as far as the folders, what you want to name, uh, and he's, of course, or he or she is interacting with the server and uh, the files that are writing to that server, it complicates the question just a tiny bit. If it boils down to uh, you know, what you believe a folder should be named and what a program believes a folder should be named, in some cases, those programs will allow you to rename the folders. Um, in some cases, they will constantly write new folders to the My Documents folder. Um, if you go and delete them, I've had that problem in the past too. Um, you know, the way around that is either store the documents you want to store in a separate folder within My Documents uh, that only you know you're going to write to, so kind of a, a subfolder of My Documents. So let's say it would be you would name it My Stuff. Nobody's stuff but mine. I mean, granted, that's a, a lousy name for a folder, but no program on the planet would likely write directly to that folder, and you could store all the files in folders that you want without the fear of someone coming along and making a program that would write specifically to a folder you didn't want it to write to. Um, I understand it's an annoyance. My dad has uh, had uh, many calls with me asking why these programs do these kinds of things, and my only answer is, Dad, I I don't know what to tell you. Um, it's just, what do you think, Pixie? What do you think? She doesn't write files. She just licks them. If you've got any other suggestions with how to manage your My Documents folder, especially with programs that uh, want to do their own thing inside of that holy of holy places, let us know. Uh, we're always here. Leave a comment or swing by the chat room at live.perillo.com.